In this example, we have variables in the denominator, not just numbers. The same technique, though, still applies. The technique is to find the least common denominator and multiply both sides of the fraction by that. And in this case, we see x and 3 and 2x, so think of that as a 2 and an x. We have all of these factors, x and 3 and 2 and x, which we've already listed. Well, what, what expression can we write that will contain all of those as factors, or that will be a multiple of all of those? You can probably see that the least common denominator in this case is going to be 6x. So we can multiply both sides of the equation by 6x. So this is what we get. We have 2 over x plus 1 third equals 5 over 2x. I'm just going to rewrite it so that I have room here to write in the multiplication times 6x on the left and times 6x on the right. And now we multiply. 6x multiplied by 2 over x. Well, when we do that, you're going to see this x will cancel and we're left with 6 times 2, which is 12. And then we have this plus sign. And we're distributing here on the left side. The 6x now needs to be multiplied by the 1 third. And when we do that, you might see that the 6 over the 3 reduces to a 2. And then we still have this x right here, so it's 2x. So the left side has become 12 plus 2x. Now let's look at the right. Over here, the 6x multiplied by the 5 over 2x. The x up top, remember this is in the numerator, so the x up top cancels with the x down here, and the 6 over 2 becomes a 3, and that 3 multiplied by that 5 will give us a 15. So now our equation, our original problem, has been greatly simplified and there's no fractions anymore. Multiplying by the least common denominator has cleared all of the fractions. So now I have 12 plus 2x equals 15. Well, the next step is pretty easy here. I subtract 12 from each side, and that leaves me on the left, after these 12s go away, that leaves me with 2x equals 3, and then I divide each side by 2, and x equals 3 halves. Or if you wanted to, you could write x equals 1.5.